Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to our new space. I'm excited. It's not set up yet, but it will get there. Mm -hmm. It's a little bare bones. It's very plain in here. <laughs> There's, Echo! There's like literally no furniture other than like our desk and the printer and that's pretty much it. And these random plastic Ikea chairs. Yeah. Today's video, we've had this question asked many times, why mm -hmm. do you homeschool your children? So we thought we would answer it. We'll yep. give you a little bit of a tour throughout our homeschool room. Obviously, reason number one is COVID-19. COVID-19. We don't really have a choice because we don't want to send our kids. Actually, when September mm -hmm. rolled around, things were just too crazy yeah. to put our kids in school. We didn't feel comfortable yeah. with that. Um, and But we had made that decision like in the summertime anyway. Well, which is still COVID. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, COVID. COVID. So prior to um, the pandemic, actually, our oldest daughter, Abina, was in a private Montessori program. Mm. So she had been in public schooling, not public, I guess mm. private, um, since preschool. And then I guess you would consider it junior kindergarten. Junior kindergarten yeah. And then now she's in senior kindergarten. And mm. then our youngest, Zainab, is only in preschool. So she's only three. But she's <laughs> killing it though. But she's doing a really good job. She's amazing. <laughs> Impressed. So um, number one reason, the pandemic. Mm. It was Second, definitely a deciding factor. Yeah, I think. yeah. Yeah, and then I would say the second biggest reason is uh, we were Muslim, obviously, and there's a lot of things we feel really strongly about. Um, and in today's society, we just feel like starting school at such a young age um, and still having to learn so much about faith or about values and things like that, um, they can just be easily influenced. So, But... That's more like reason number three. Okay. She skipped reason number two, which <laughs> is the mean? fact that we are very close and very connected with our kids yes. and I don't like to yeah. share. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's pretty much, you know, definitely. I remember the first time we took Amina to preschool and it was, I think it was like an hour long or maybe even a half hour. And it was the first time she had ever left our side. Um, we've never had a babysitter other than grandma. Only grandma. So we've never had a babysitter for our kids. We've never left them at a friend's house. Mm -hmm. uh, we've never left them anywhere. So we've the first time- We've never left them when we travel. Yeah, we've, we've never left them. We always travel together. We always travel as a family. We are a sticky ball. We're super close thing. with our kids. Uh, contrary to what a lot of people might think, we're super close with our kids. Very attached. Yeah. Attached par attachment yeah. parenting or whatever yeah. it's called. There's never been a single night that I have been away from my children. Not a single night. She's not. Fully telling the truth. Why? She did give birth once. Oh yeah, I did give birth once to my other child. <laughs> that was the only night. <laughs> that was the only time that, that was an exception. I was yeah. birthing a child, so. But even then, that, even then, I dropped the, I, I went and picked them up at the hospital. And yeah. At home, brought them to the hospital. Yes. That's when Amina got to meet her little sister Zainab. Yeah. And, at like and, midnight. Yeah, and when we were walking down the hall, she said, Dada, she's 18 months old. <laughs> and I was like, yes, sweetheart. She's like, can you just, can you just, Take her back. I <laughs> think you go away. I don't think she understood. Like that's my no, baby sister now. No, she knew straight up. Like yeah. just okay, that's nice. No, just yeah, that, that's make, nice. Make her go away. Yeah, but then after <laughs> that, they've been like best. Oh, inseparable. Inseparable. But that night, um, she was only away from us for like five hours. Two I wouldn't hours. even consider yeah. that like a full night. And Attachment style parenting is like our thing. Yeah. So and we don't do the whole cried out thing. We maybe. never have done the cried out thing. Uh, we have always snuggled our babies. To sleep and so even even if that means i have to get up 10 times at night i have done that she did she, i do that she used to bounce on a yoga ball for two <laughs> hours rocking amina to sleep to get her to sleep yeah and i would come in and she's she like get out 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it was hard. And I basically like lived my first five years of a new parent without sleep. Like mm -hmm. as a zombie, as a mom I like to say. The mom -bee. The mom -bee. <laughs> That's pretty much how I lived my life. Yeah. And even now, Zainab still wakes up, but... Regardless, still, those are the kind of yeah. parents that we are. So that kind of gives you an idea of why we wanted to homeschool because we love our children a whole schwack. I still rock both and my girls to sleep at night with yeah, lullabies. Yeah, with lullabies. That's Same great. lullaby that we've been using <laughs> since like day one. Yeah, since they were And then we had to add on the sunshine song. Yeah. <laughs> and another big reason yeah. would be um, just in terms of, you know, instilling exposure. values and, and giving them exposure to the things that we want them to experience. Um, I have a lot of friends a lot of friends who have started homeschooling their kids because of bullying um, and kids are nasty like straight up nasty, nasty and with social media and toxicity just so much and I want my kids to be able to know how to defend themselves and just be strong confident and they are they're super confident kids they're social butterflies the youngest Zainab is a little bit on the shyer mm -hmm. side but I mean as a social well, because butterfly. she's like you said right she's yeah. she's four she lived almost through, four yeah and she's been living in a pandemic, pandemic. for the last year yeah so. So it's a was, solid chunk of her early life. Yeah. It's like, okay, lockdown, not lockdown. Lockdown. You can go here, don't lockdown. go there. You can't meet people, <laughs> social distancing. Use your hand sanitizer, it doesn't work. Wear a mask, that's not working either. Let's lock down everybody. Stay oh, wait, home orders. That's not working either. <laughs> so yeah, that pretty much goes to show what it's been yeah. like for Zainab's life, And what we think so. of COVID. Yeah, exactly. And so, yeah, that's pretty much where mm -hmm. we're at. Um, and in terms of people saying like, oh, they won't get enough social interaction, blah, blah, blah. Amina has been in classes with other babies and children since she was four weeks old. Four weeks old, like weekly classes. Um, same with Zainab, they have been in, you know, whether it's like music class or gymnastics, Taekwondo. So, um, to interject, do, do, do people really perceive that like, they're somehow going to be, you know, they're not deprived. going to school, people so they're going to be deprived. As, yeah, so people they're think be, they're deprived. They're going to be like really messed up, you know, socially awkward people when they get older. I Is don't that, know where the okay. stereotype comes from. Well, here, let's just step back a minute. Um, I grew up for the first five years of my life in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I did go to kindergarten and to school. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. But other than that, there wasn't any social interaction. We lived, yeah. literally, we didn't have power. We didn't have running water. Yeah. And we lived in the bend. Like... <laughs> It was out there, you know, yeah, yeah, and it turned yeah. out okay. Um, yep. I mean, for forever, people have been homeschooling their kids. Forever, forever people have been forever. living in places that are isolated. This whole like modern day classroom, sitting in a desk all day long type mm. style teaching is pretty recent. It, if you think and you, about and you it. And you know what's even funnier is that a lot of people um, and a lot of institutions now are switching from the whole like yeah. sitting in a classroom to know practical to more movement and more yeah. lifestyle kind of stuff and like, that's the cool thing though is is the amount of work that we get done with our kids mm -hmm. in an hour two hours one is hour, like pfft, one hour max yeah is like the it's equivalent of an equivalent eight hour day of like for, an eight hour day yeah. and we can do so much more throughout the day whether they're sitting and helping me cook or whether they're helping clean or organize or do all of these practical things that kids need to learn, yep. um, they really get to, to to do that with us and get to witness our business and yep. get to witness so and many cool part things. Of every part of life. Yeah, so we, we want to instill. Well. We want to instill in our kids mm -hmm. the morals, the you know mm -hmm. everything to do with how we think that a human being should. Yep kind of grow up to be, yep. um, you know, with, with how they respect people, their attitude towards others, mm -hmm. you know, their um, understanding of like racism, their understanding of prejudice, all of these things that it's our job, it's our job. to do. Yeah. We don't, we're not relying on other people to teach our children their own preconceived notions of what they should be yeah. when they grow up. Yeah. Rather, we teach our children to have, again, morals and standards and mm -hmm. love and compassion all of these things mm -hmm. that when they do go to school and everybody who's been to a public school my god you've seen it like yeah. we are not so much you but because <laughs> you're a little bit older but you do too we grew up in a generation yeah. that we didn't have social media no we didn't. so bullying happened at school and when you went home bullying was over yeah but, but now, now it's you just bully like at school you go home and the bullying is like 10 continuous, times continuous all on social media and all these things it's just toxic it's a toxic environment mm -hmm. Um, and for us, it's just, it's not fitting. So this is not to say that we would never send our kids to a private or public, whatever kind of school in the future, but for the foreseeable future that we see, we're going to be homeschooling our kids. And we still follow like the curriculum curriculum 
of Ontario. Um, we have an incredible, incredible teacher that homeschools her kids and plans out the entire month's lessons I must for say, us. It's pretty impressive. She's we get, really we awesome. get a We get a box. Each girl gets a box for the month. And they yeah. get their little calendar. They get their workbook. They got they like get, so many They get art workbooks. projects. They get extras like science stuff. Yeah. They get reading stuff, writing stuff, even Arabic. Like yeah. it's so it's cool. Amazing. It's catered to their age too. And it's not for everybody. You, know, you have to understand that mm -hmm. the way that we parent our kids is not going to be the same way that you parent your kids. Yeah. Um, honestly, there's no right or wrong. Just be a parent. No, I mean, there's, a good no, there's, no, yeah, there's no right or wrong. We're blessed in the fact that we, we have a business home. at home. We can do this. Yeah. It's not applicable for everybody. You no. know what I mean? Like a single mom who has to work, what is she going to do? She can't yeah. homeschool her kids. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. So we're uh, honestly like, it's a blessing that we're in a position where we can actually do that. You know, we've got a huge gym set up downstairs with, you know, gym mats and jungle gyms and all that sort of stuff. But, uh, so we have the ability to do these things at home where it's not, everyone has it so mm -hmm. we are blessed to be in the situation that we're in and we are doing what we believe to be the best possible thing to set yeah. our children up for success in the future that's right and we don't all have to agree on that like every parent knows their children mm -hmm. best and we know that this is perfect for our children mm -hmm. they're thriving they are reading so quickly writing um learning matters learning about science like you name it they My are five -year -old. so smart our five-year-old yes. <laughs> can read better at five than I could in like grade four. Like yeah, three, I know. Four. Like she's it's incredible. Amazing. It's incredible. But the curriculum, and writing too. The, yeah, yeah, the curriculum yeah. Is, is incredible. Yeah, so definitely um, these are the reasons why we chose to homeschool. We're not saying that these are the reasons you should homeschool. This is just our situation mm -hmm. and, and you know our do. children and what we do. So, mm -hmm. And because you guys asked and you wanted us to kind of go into detail about it, um, this, is, this is it. It's what we do. Yeah. And so, again, it's not for everyone. Yeah. So if it works for you, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work for you and you want it, I hope it works out for you. Yeah. Um, you know, and mm -hmm. that's that's the the kind of juggling game mm -hmm. that we have to play with life, right? Mm -hmm. That we we do the best with what we have, and we hope for the best. Yeah. Prepare for the worst. Totally. So much for joining. Thank us. you so much for joining us, and we will see you here again next week. Yes. And yeah, continue. If you like this video, definitely leave us a like. If you hate COVID, <laughs> give us a thumbs up. <laughs> Straight if up. you're over the lockdown and the tiredness of, you know, not living life. No. And make sure you click subscribe, you guys, if you enjoyed this video. Leave us a comment down below and tell us, have you ever been homeschooled? Have you considered homeschooling? Are you homeschooled? I think I already said that, but it's all good because, you know. I was homeschooled twice. Well, there you go. I hated it. <laughs> and I didn't do it. I was never homeschooled. I, I was a rebel. Anyway. Thank you so much, you guys. We'll see you again next week. Bye, guys. Take care. Bye.